guys? Uh, today is finally the day. We've made it. We're at Mike's, and uh, we're looking at his GT500. Uh, 1,000 horsepower. What, actually, Mike, what does it make right out of the box? Uh, well, this specific build makes about... Uh, it, it, with MS109, which is VP Racing Fuel, it made uh, 1093 maxing out the 1050X injector on it. So it makes about... The, the guy I bought it from said it can make around 1,200. Yeah, it's with the because we put 1300s in it now, so with you know all the stuff that's done to it, it probably could make around 1200 to the wheels if we really pushed it to its max. So. Small numbers, small numbers, um, but yeah, no, it's it, he. He just started up a second ago, and uh, it, it just shakes the whole time that it's idling on the startup. So I've never been in anything like that. GT500, he had, did you have that for like six months? He had it for about a year. A year? He had it for about a year. Um, and it was great until, unfortunately, he got hit by a drunk driver. Um, thankfully, the only thing that was damaged was the car. Um, but that's when he was able to pick this up. And it had already been built by a shop. Uh, they did a lot of the work to it, but he snagged himself a really nice deal and um yeah it's, it's it's impressive so i'm gonna kind of have him walk around the car um we'll do some pulls and stuff like that um but yeah he's gonna walk through touch on all the stuff that's been done maybe what his future plans are for it and uh we'll just kind of go from there yeah so the the motor is a fully built motor it's um it's still the 5.8 block uh from the factory it's just bored out um has the full nine yards from uh, mainly H beam rods, diamond pistons, um, all AARP studs. Um, it has a billet crankshaft, um, ATI 10% lower pulley. I believe the pulley that's on it right now is a 2.8, um, but it can be pulled down to a 2.6 if I wanted to make those 1200 horsepower numbers, which is very achievable with the setup right now. Um, like I mentioned before, it has uh, ID 1300s in it. Um, it has a 168 uh, intake on it, along with a 169 Kenny Bell throttle body, which is right there. And then it has a ported uh, Gen 3 VMP blower. Um, and a fun fact about that is the guy that actually ported this and built the motor um, worked with VMP to help develop the Gen 3 R blower, which was like the big notorious one that was made by um, Magnuson Superchargers. So it's pretty much a Gen 3 R. Um, heads are still stock, but those heads are pretty strong. Um, I mean, they're they're they have springs in them, but that's pretty much the only thing that was changed by um, by the guy. I mean, pretty much some of the odds and ends has some of the aluminum billet um, welded uh, canisters. But overall, I mean, it's a pretty a pretty simple setup if you know what these cars are all about. It's just everything's bigger and stronger, um, which I guess in all engine builds, there that's what you need. It's just right. stronger and more airflow. Um, one of the biggest things that a lot of these people don't think about is how important airflow is so when I had my old Cobra I had a small intake on it and that was probably one of my biggest uh, downfalls because I wasn't allowing enough air to get into the blower to create the boost that I needed so it also has um, comp cam custom cams so um, I don't know the exact lope numbers like the lobe but um, it's pretty choppy, as yeah. you heard before. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that startup was choppy. Yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, it shakes the car, it does enough. Uh, Drivability is a little off, I mean, mm -hmm. but that's what you get when you have a car that's pushing four-digit horsepower numbers. Right. Um, and that's mainly due just because the Kenny Bell's uh, throttle body is a mono blade. Mm -hmm. um, and so instead of having a twin blade where it has a little bit more drivability, uh, access to it the mono blade as soon as that mono blade opens it's just letting a rush of air go through into the motor and the motor mm -hmm. wants to go right so um but yeah i mean that's pretty much the basics of the motor setup i mean i could get into the nitty gritty but um that's pretty much what helps make that power and mm -hmm. achieve those numbers um to put the um <clears throat> power to the ground 
We have Viking uh, Crusader shocks in the back. We still have the Bilsteins in the front, but I'm gonna change those out because the guy I actually bought the car from has Viking shocks for the front. He just didn't get a chance to put them in in time. Mm -hmm. um, has Dark Star Race Star wheels. Um, they're, I mean, they're still meaty in the front. I believe it's a 255 tire um, in the front. And then it's a uh, 315 by 40 by uh, 18 in the back, which is definitely a meteor tire. Um, yeah, I'd say that's pretty neat. Yeah, that was all achievable by the VMR relocation brackets. So what that does is it helps relocate the uh, location of the rear sway bar. Um, and that basically just allows me to put a fatter tire in the back mm -hmm. um, without rubbing anywhere. Um, and then I guess we won't, we, we can't really see it besides the axle backs, but the exhaust setup is, um, it's a Corsa axle back, a Corsa sport axle back with um, stainless works, long tube headers, inch and seven eighths. And it goes down to a catted, believe it or not, it's catted, oh, wow. uh, H pipe with it, everything's three inch. Mm -hmm. And then it comes back out to these guys. And pretty much the <clears throat> interior looks pretty bone stock besides that rear, that weird uh, red button that you see right near the e-brake. Uh, that's a custom wired line lock that we have in the car. Um, pretty much works by just flicking the switch and then you hold the red button to lock the brakes. Mm -hmm. um, that way you can let your foot off the brake and then let out the clutch and have your foot on the gas and ready to rip some tires up, get them warm for the drag strip, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's still a full interior car. I actually just replaced the AC compressor pulley, so it still has AC in it. Um, for a thousand horsepower plus car, it still is pretty drivable on the street besides the fact that it sits three inches off the ground. Right. So um, yeah, other than that, I mean, the, the thing is, it's a rocket ship, um, but as a reliable as you can be with that power mm -hmm. um, it runs on 93 plus torco uh, it needs about a minimum of 100 or octane so you obviously can't get that around here off of a pump so we run 93 plus torco or I'm planning on getting it tuned for e85 very shortly mm -hmm. um, and then like I said I do have a tune for ms 109 but I don't plan on running that anytime soon because mm -hmm. it's for you know a 50 gallon uh, tub it's about a thousand dollars right um, I, and I don't plan on you know going to Texas 2k till maybe next year so. <laughs> and the one thing I forgot to mention it has the MGW uh, shifter short throw um, oh, yeah. scooch felt it it's uh, very short um, it's even in neutral scooch if you want to wiggle it yeah, it's, yeah it doesn't it doesn't, doesn't move too much no, not at all so I can't complain man no, yeah. no you get yourself a gem here I love yeah, this thing I appreciate it could use a nice buffing though Oh, we got a guy for that, though. We got a guy. We have a guy for that. Yeah, so. All right, well, what we're going to do is we're going to head to, um, he's actually in the process, of, Mike's actually in the process of building a shop um, out of, like, an old barn. So we're going to head over there. Um, it will start to get, like, some clips, some sound clips. Uh, I'm hoping, Mike, I think you take me for a ride in it. We'll, yep. uh, it's going to take me for a ride in it. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. And, um, yeah, we'll just get some good sound clips of it and kind of wrap this video up. All right, so filming and driving is probably not the best option. However, you have to get a look at this booty from the rear. It's just fantastic. And he drive when he pulls away, you'll hear it in a second. Oh God, that sounds so good. sounds so good I need a v8 I need a v8 so badly one one day soon I will have one yeah all right so we are in the car now and uh, we're gonna go for a ride and uh, Mike pulled onto the highway before I didn't have the camera rolling but uh, he, he broke he broke the tires loose so just, just merging on the highway uh, so it's it's quick it's, yeah. pretty, it's pretty quick yeah, she, she, she goes, uh, I mean, it's cold outside, it's about 50 degrees out right now, so tires yeah. definitely are not sticky. Tires aren't the stickiest, but... But, uh, I mean, she goes, but the, the good thing about it is, you know, it's controllable. If you, Because you have such wide tires on this car, you can simply just let off, and it will, uh, it'll hook back up. 
and then you, you're good to go pretty much. Um, one thing is just good you'll notice like as I'm driving you'll be able to actually hear the intake sucking in air. Oh yeah I can already you can already hear it. It's yeah. it's so I mean everything on this car is just big and obnoxious. <laughs> Um, but the nice part about it is like, yeah, it's loud because it's a built motor, so you, pretty much you hear a lot of cabin noise, but the exhaust itself, when I get on it, you'll be surprised how it doesn't sound that loud inside. Really? It's, it's more or less just projected backwards. I was going to say, because outside, obviously, it's very, very loud from the back. Um, but honestly, even just cruising around, this isn't... This isn't obnoxious, you know. I'm not. I, I, the Subaru itself, you know, it's bouncy, it creaks, it rattles, it does all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, this is a bumpy ride, but it's fairly tame in here. It's it's modded, like it's not over the top. You don't feel like you're in a thousand horsepower Mustang. You really don't. I expected it to be much more jarring. I expected it to be so many different noises at once. It's mostly just the exhaust note. Um, so really, it's it's actually nice in here I think this is this is definitely this will be the fastest car I've been in I think your previous Shelby was the fastest because that made what 650 crank out of the box out of the box made 662 yeah. 662 and my buddy Pierce's Camaro when he first swapped the LS6 into it uh, he was I think that car made like 500 600 something maybe like between that realm and that car that car ripped and he recently pro charged it so um, it's only going to be even crazier now, but we're going to merge on the highway here, and I'm really not sure what to expect. I just know that I'm going to probably get my butt thrown in my seat. Yeah, but that's not, that's not really about try it. To give it the beans right off the. No, the not beans. not the beans right off the bat, but like you know, I'm just I'm anxious to see what truly happens because I've never experienced anything like this. Yeah, it, it, I'll give it like a little bit of beans in third, and then roll into fourth, but. I don't want to go too slow because it will blow the tires off as you saw. Right. So that's like an eighth of a throttle. Right. <laughs> Which is full throttle for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's a fun car. It makes all the right noises too. Like, even the blower and fifth gear, it will it will sing to you, you know. Like right. I'll get, give it a little bit of gas. You can hear the blower starting. You can hear the blower, yep. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's again. We that was fifth gear, at, right? Yeah, we were fifth gear at 60 miles an hour. Rolling in fifth at six. At that's. RPM. Yeah, that's. It's not. I mean, it didn't put you in your seat, but you. Right. It got up and went. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let this car in front of me go a little bit, and then I'm gonna just. I'll get ready. I'll do a fourth gear pull again. Once it warms up, I'll, I'll definitely bring you back in the car. Oh yeah, we'll get another 
get another round in it. Yeah, I, I, and get new tires, see how she hooks. Oh. Um, that'll that'll be good. I, I'll definitely be able to hook it for uh, fourth. I mean, yeah, uh, third might be a little squirrely. We still were spinning. We felt the car as it started. It, it, it gave a little bit. It wasn't. It wasn't like I, I don't know if it kicked out as much as it did when I saw oh, it before. God, no. No, because um, usually you'll feel that pretty pretty yeah, that easily. Was, um, but it, you you felt it like a little bit in the back. It wasn't it wasn't anything drastic, but you definitely felt it. I'm sure Mike probably even felt it more than I did because the driver usually feels that a little bit. Yeah, you'll definitely like know. You're feeling the steering wheel and everything like that, so you're, yeah. you're noticing that more than I probably am. Yeah, I mean, I love I love it, man. It's fun. Like I rolled up on a Z06 the other day, a C7 Z06, and mm -hmm. the guy. You could tell he was just a cocky guy, and he had his girlfriend in the passenger seat. And I'm Go. just driving in the middle lane, minding my own business, and all of a sudden I hear him rev his engine, downshift a few times. So I let him go. I let him get in front of me, and I just gave it the beans. I got right behind him, like, no problem. He was full throttle, and uh, I just passed him. <laughs> I went back down, and the guy just didn't even want to look at me. No, no. That... So, uh, yeah, it's, I've it's seen fun, that man. happen many times. People and... don't expect it. But yeah, I mean, it's awesome, man. I, I really hope you enjoyed the ride. Oh, I certainly did. Thank you for taking me out. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We will have more of this coming now that we finally got our hands on it and that the nicer weather is coming around. Um, and actually, after this, I'm going to go film my buddy Alex GTI uh, that he will be soon selling, which is disappointing because I do love that car. Uh, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe below. Let me know what you thought of the car in the comments. Um, if you want to see more of this stuff and, you know, uh, maybe Michael one day let me, uh, let me get me on the wheel. You, know, yeah. you never know. You never know once the time, once, once everything warms up, you know. I'm certainly not going to give it the beans like he does because I, I would be terrified to. But, um, you know, maybe a nice little... It's a little 40 mile an hour drive down to nine. So, all right, we'll catch you later. Have a great rest of the day.